my name is Sam and thanks for checking out this video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and give the video a thumbs up. And yeah, I want to talk about the books that I read this week. And actually all four books that I read this week were middle grades, which is interesting. I don't know that I've ever actually done that in the last, you know, year and a half, two years really since I've been paying attention to what I've been reading. So the first book that I read was The Lost Rainforest, Meza's Magic by Elliot Schrafer. I got this as an ARC at a conference, however it came out in January 2018. It's a middle grade where we get the POVs of a bunch of different characters, however those characters are all animals. And you can see on the top here, we've got a panther, we've got a frog, we have a parrot, we have a monkey, and we have a bat. And there is also a snake in the book too. And yeah. Essentially, it follows the story of our main character, which is our panther here, who is a daywalker, which is not normal in this world. And it because of like a myth and things, you know, a daywalker is a bad thing and they're set to be outcast from their kind of family if they are found out. And our main character naturally is a daywalker. And she comes into contact with the snake who says, actually, there's this whole myth and you're kind of the chosen one kind of thing. And then through all these different stories and paths we meet all of these other main characters and true colors come out and alliances are tested and there's lots of questing and adventuring overall i think i like the book was all right i just found myself for long periods of time bored even when there was kind of like peak action scenes and i don't know if it was the writing or my mood or the fact that there were animal characters but like they weren't they were you know thinking and like talking kind of like people in the book I don't know. So I think I just ended up giving you about three. I don't think I'll continue with the series, but I think it's got like good messages for the audience of middle grade and animals are always fun, fun to include. And yeah, easily my favorite book this week was See You in the Cosmos by Jack Chang. This is probably one of my like favorite contemporaries ever I've ever read. Like it, it's just our main character is this like 11 year old boy whose mom you kind of like led to believe that she's got severe depression and he's got an older brother that is living away and supporting the family financially and that stress has just taken his brother has taken on all of that and his father is dead and it's just he's kind of in this fractured family but he's this 11 year old boy he's so smart he's so incredibly passionate about science and rockets and he kind of adopted a local stray dog and called him carl sagan after his like idol and we follow him through this journey kind of a couple different places in the united states originally it starts out that he's going to a convention to launch his rocket prototype and things evolve very heavily from there and he finds out things about his dad that his dad is not what he was coked up like kind of what he had been told by his mom to be we also find out exactly what's going on with mom and we see kind of all the pressures that is going on with his brother and you kind of like it's kind of hard to get a, like a read on him of whether or not you like him because you you know he's not being the greatest of brothers but you can also know why you know why this whole situation is hard for him so it's it's very very chaotic but the the kid is just so incredibly smart and enjoyable to read the perspective of he's so optimistic despite everything that's going on in his life being pretty difficult and to digest and understand but he's just such a such a good kid and like yeah and just spoiler note the dog doesn't die okay i i, I have to put that out there because i know i'm one of those people too if i know an animal dies in a book i'm not touching it so just heads up in the end, gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. Happy I own the copy. Probably going to reread it every once in a while. And yeah, I would highly recommend this one. Then I read The Serpent's Secret by uh, Sayatani Dasgupta. I think that's how you say it. I ended up giving this book a 3.75-ish out of 5 stars. It's actually quite fun. I really like the snappy one-liners. My friend Meg hated that part. But I just found it very, very funny and humorous and very lighthearted. The back kind of gives you a sense of the tone of those kind of one-liners. Is In the name of the Garden State Parkway, Parkway, I am not your princess. We follow the story of our, our lovely lady, this girl on the cover right here. Her parents are Indian immigrants to the United States. They're living in New Jersey and they run a local shop. And then all of a sudden on her birthday, she comes home and finds their place has been kind of ransacked. Her parents are missing. And all of a sudden these two princes show up and they're like, oh, by the way, you're a princess from the magical land. And they take her to this magical land and they're frantically searching for her parents. And then real lineage reveals are made out. And there's just so much going on. I love the magic of it as well. Like the one-liners are fun. I did find parts of it slow and like sometimes my like interest kind of waned off 
but the cover was awesome. The rep is awesome. I didn't love that it ended with romance, but none of those like kind of meh things were really enough to deter me or make me want to stop reading it. So once again, probably really suggest this one. And the cover is like awesome. I love this cover and I'm definitely going to continue on with this series. And last but not least, I finally read Hello Universe by Erin Entrada Kelly. This is the 2018, I think it is, Newberry, or maybe it was the 2017. I don't know what year they gave it. They gave out the award in like this past February, but they gave out the Newberry Award and this was this year's winner. And I find like the story itself is quite, you know, it's pretty like normal. There's nothing super special about it. You know, you've got people from all different like, like, parts of their town. There is Virgil, who is kind of the shy kid, and he's, he keeps talking about being in the resort classroom, which from what I understand was just like an extra special help classroom for people who maybe learn a little bit differently. And then he has kind of this girl that he, it doesn't say crush, he just says like, I know I want to be friends with her kind of thing. And that is Vel Vel Velcia, but she is also deaf, so you have some deaf representation in here as well. Then there is Virgil's friend, Corey, I believe her name is, and she's like a fortune teller in the community, but Virgil's her like only client so far, and she wants him to spread her word. And then there's this bully in the community, and it's kind of a magical realism, and they just go on an adventure where, you know, they learn things about each other, and they kind of grow themselves, but it's, it's just really, really interesting. I feel like the strongest part of this book was the characters, not so much the plot, because like I said, it was nothing super special, but I really enjoyed the characters, and obviously I honestly can't remember the last time I read a book that had a, a character at all that was deaf, let alone one that is so strong and so... She's so good at, like, kind of, ex like, verbal, like, explaining herself and, like, it, like just kind of, like, putting out there when people are like, you speak funny. You know, sometimes that people can just kind of internalize and kind of think bad upon themselves in those situations. But, you know, she's capable. She's so well aware of what her capabilities are. And she just, you know, explains, I'm deaf. And, yeah, I just, like, this book was all right. I think I ended up giving it, like, a 3.75 or 4 out of 5 stars. So I would actually really recommend this one, just, like, for the characters alone. So those are all the books that I read this week. Let me know in the comments section down below if you read any of these and what you read this week. I would love to hear. Make sure to check the description box down below for links to these books as Goodreads pages, as well as links to my social media. If you follow me, I will follow you back.